हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल ए पाइप इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय टू पैरेलल पाइप्स ईच विथ हाफ द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द ओरिजिनल पाइप द डिस्चार्ज विल रिमेन सेम ए पंप व्हिच डज नॉट कम इन कैटेगरी ऑफ पॉजिटिव डिस्प्लेसमेंट पंप इज इट्स सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप ऑल आर ए बी सी ऑल आर पॉजिटिव डिस्प्लेसमेंट पंप द वाटर टर्बाइन सिलेक्टेड फॉर हेड भरिंग फ्रॉम फिफ्टी मीटर्स टू वन फिफ्टी मीटर इज आई गिव यू टर्न हुईल फ्रांसिस कपलन For Felton wheel, it's above two fifty meter. For Francis turbine, it's sixty meter to two fifty meter. For Kaplan turbine, it's below. सिक्सटी मीटर सो भारिंग फ्रॉम फिफ्टी मीटर टू वन फिफ्टी मीटर फ्रांसिस टर्वेन इज द आंसर एंड बॉल टर्वेन इट्स फॉर टाइडल पावर प्लांट एयर वेसल्स आर प्रोवाइडेड इन रेसी पॉकेटिंग पंप टू स्टोर एयर डिस्चार्ज बाय पंप नो Obtain continuous discharge from pump. Increase the pressure of water. Safeguard the pump. Be done. So this question was asked in IES so many times. The velocity of jet of water traveling out of opening in a tank filled with water is proportional to. Its answer is B. I will tell you one for me. Venturi meter rectangular notch and where triangular notch and where. Here in venturi meter, it's proportional to a two per one by two rectangular notch. It's three by two for triangular notch and over. It's proportional to five by two. Here in our question, it's b equal to root over of two. G H B is proportional to a two per one by two. Hydrometer is used to determine specific gravity of liquids, specific gravity of solids, specific gravity of gases, relative humidity. Its specific gravity of liquid. Hydrometer. Sometimes this one also asked. Hygrometer. Hygrometer used to find specific specific gravity or relative density. Density. Hygrometer. We will get moisture content content in atmosphere or specific humidity.
all the terms of energy in Bernoulli's equation have dimensions of length Bernoulli's equation P by rho G pressure head it's B square B square by B square by 2G plus Z G its pressure head b square by 2g velocity head is a datum head or potential head unit is length meter in terms of meter of liquid head the fluid forces considered in the navier stroke equation is i leave, i will give you one trick it's G P V T S C G for gravity force G for gravity force P for pressure force V for viscous force T for force due to turbulence S for force due to surface tension C for force due to compressibility here Newton's equation then Reynolds equation then Navier stroke then Euler in Newton all forces are there Fg F force due to pressure, force due to gravity, force due to viscosity, force due to turbulence, force due to surface tension, force due to compressibility, all are there. In Reynold, you cut last two, you will get Reynolds equation. Then you cut last one, you will get Navier stroke equation. Force due to gravity, force due to viscosity. Sorry, it's pressure. GPV TSC. It is Navier stroke equation. Then you cut this one. Force due to viscosity. You will get Euler's equation. Force due to gravity, force due to pressure. Here question asked Navier stroke equation this is force due to gravity, force due to pressure, force due to viscosity first three. A large Reynold number is indication of a smooth streamlined flow, B laminar flow, C steady flow, D turbulent flow, E highly turbulent flow high Reynolds number, it's highly turbulent flow. I will give you one table for laminar flow for transitional and for turbulent for pipe for open surface flow. In laminar flow, in case of pipe, it should be Reynolds number should be less than equal to 2000. For transient, Reynolds number should be in between 2000 to 4000. And for turbulent flow, Reynolds number should greater than 4000 in open flow for laminar the Reynolds number should less than equal to 500 and for transitional flow Reynolds number should greater than 500 and less than 1000 
and for turbulent flow Reynolds number should greater than 1000 for pipes laminar flow occurs when Reynolds number is less than 2000 two pipe systems can be said to be equivalent when the following quantities are same a friction loss and flow b length and diameter c flow and length d friction factor and diameter it's a friction loss and flow it's f and q the flow at critical depth in an open channel is its maximum i will give you the graph if you draw the graph it will come like this so d is depth here q is flow rate of discharge the graph is come like this here discharge is maximum discharge maximum this is critical depth dc here fraud number is less than 1 here fraud number equal to 1 here fraud number is greater than 1 this person is subcritical this person is supercritical So in our question at critical depth and open channel here flow is maximum Q max. Next highest efficiency is obtained with following channel section circular no, B triangular no, rectangular C no, D trapezoidal yes. trapezoidal section highest efficiency. Thank you.